everyone. Today is Sunday, May 3rd, 2020. Uh, it is another really nice day here in Ohio. Uh, a little cloudy, but the temperature is nice and warm. Uh, people are out, like my neighbor mowing her lawn. Uh, the kids are out playing in the driveway. And a uh, quick little uh, story. Uh, got into a fight with the stepladder in the garage the other day uh, while taking the trash out. So stepladder one, Stuart, none. <laughs> uh, today we are continuing the frog Zarevna. The old Tsar praised the frog's bread, but the blackened cinders that the others brought, he threw to the dogs in a rage. Then he told his sons that their wives must weave him silk carpets by the next day. The frog only smiled at the Tsar's order, cut up some silk thread, and threw it out of the window into the field. When the other wives heard of this from the servant girl, they tried to copy her, but the wind blew the silk about, mixing it with straw and brambles, so that when the women finally got down to weaving, their carpets were a sorry sight. But the carpet which the frogs had woven in the night shone with pearls and precious stones like the sun on a rippling lake. The Tsar could not take his eyes off it. Then he said, tomorrow I shall give a grand banquet. I wish my son's wives to dance with my guests there. When the youngest Tsarevich heard these words, he trudged off sadly to tell his frog. Do not be sad, Tsarevich Ivan, she comforted him. Go tomorrow to the Tsar's palace and wait for me at the oak table. The Tsarevich did as she asked. Scarcely had he taken his place at the table when a golden coach was heard to draw up in the courtyard. And out of it stepped a young girl so beautiful that all the guests gazed at her in wonder. I am the wife of Tsarevich Ivan, she proclaimed in a clear voice, and she took to the floor and danced. It just kind of gave me goosebumps. <laughs> uh, tomorrow we are going to be uh, finishing up the story. I hope that you enjoyed it today. Have a great day, everyone.